During this video, you will learn how a port is accessed and what to do about possible issues that may arise with your port. Since all parts of the port system are located under the skin, a special needle is required to access your port. The needle is inserted through the skin and into the top of the port called a septum, which connects to the catheter. Fluids and medications can then be given directly into your bloodstream. The staff member who is accessing your port will observe for any open areas, warmth, redness, swelling, or drainage on the skin around the port site. If you have any pain at the port site, please let them know. If any of these problems are present, the port will not be accessed and the doctor will be notified. This next part shows you how the port is accessed. First, the supplies are gathered and opened. The skin surface around your port will be cleaned with a special antiseptic solution. This area is cleaned for 30 seconds and then allowed to air dry. This is a sterile procedure, so if possible, you will need to turn your head in the opposite direction so you do not breathe or cough on the cleaned area. Occasionally, you may be asked to wear a mask, especially if you cannot turn your head or if you are coughing and sneezing. You may be asked to take in a deep breath and let it out. The needle is then inserted through your skin and into the port. You may feel a slight prick when the needle enters your skin. If you need blood drawn, it will be done through your port at this time. If you are having a procedure or treatment today, the port needle will be left in and a dressing applied. Once your treatment is complete, your port will be flushed with normal saline and the needle removed. A small band-aid will be applied, which should be removed in a few hours. Flushing the port helps keep the line patent, meaning open and unblocked. If necessary, the port needle can remain in place for seven days with a secure dressing covering it. Your nurse will instruct you on how to care for the area if the needle remains in place. To maintain patency of the port, it should be flushed with normal saline every four to six weeks. Only specially trained staff should access and flush your port. Appointments for flushing your port can be made on the same day that you have a regular checkup or doctor visit. It is important to know what issues to report to your healthcare team. If at any time you notice any open areas, warmth, redness, swelling, or drainage on the skin surface around your port site, please notify your healthcare team right away. If you experience any pain in the area of your port, please call and let your team know. It is also important to let them know if you notice any arm or neck swelling on the same side as the port. Always carry the port information card that was given to you at the time your port was inserted. You could also take a picture of the port information card with your phone so that you have it with you at all times. This is what identifies your port type. Your port can remain in place and be used as long as medically necessary. This can be months to years. When no longer needed, your doctor can order for the port to be removed. We hope this video has answered important questions that you may have had regarding ports. If you would like more information regarding a port, please speak with your doctor or nurse.